Today is Wednesday, February 15th. I haven't done a video in a while, and I'm going to kick it off with this rather weird-looking spaghetti-on-the-wall chart and continue my tradition of bashing airlines at every chance I get. This is a chart of four airlines. You can see on the left, you got Spirit Air, American, Delta, and JetBlue. All right, in different colors, just so we can possibly see them. What I did was I drew a line from the previous peak to the current peak, which happened either December or January or February, just to see how these airlines performed over that span. You can see that the black line, which is Spirit, really did the worst over that span. And Delta up here did the best. All right, so what does this really mean? Well, I think it's just another rejection of the business model of Spirit Air, where they nickel and dime you for everything. I really hate that. And of course, I don't want to pay a whole lot of money for full service things, and I don't need a big meal on the plane. But just something about Spirit that really just gets me, and I avoid them at all costs. But anyway, so here's just one way to overlay different airlines try to make sense of what you see, especially when there's so many lines on the chart. Now just for kicks, let's just change spans and see if anything else pops out. And you can see that the black line now shows that over the recent couple of months, Spirit's been doing okay. And down here, JetBlue has been the one that's been lagging. So everything depends on your perspective. You can build a case to say, I hate Spirit. And then you show this chart and you say, well, wait a minute, maybe I don't hate it in terms of uh, being a stock to invest in. Anyway, it's just another way to look at the markets, another way for me to bash airlines in general. And uh, why did I look at this? Because today there was news that Warren Buffett loves cheap airlines. And uh, considering the investment he made in Apple recently and did quite well, I thought, well, a lot of people are going to be interested, so let's take a look. And I'll look at one more thing before we go. Okay, here's Southwest Airlines. It was not on the previous chart. You can see it's also had a nice run since over the last couple of months, just like its friends. But this one is way up out in space here. And in this daily chart, you can see kind of close to overbought, but not quite there. But let's switch to weekly. And you can see that it has broken out of this major pattern. And that would be a pretty good sign. And this thing probably has upside of maybe 15 points. So it's almost halfway there. I have found that the halfway point to a target is usually a good place for a pullback. And if you look at the weekly chart, overbought in a big way for Southwest. So I'm not giving you a prediction. I'm just showing you the chart, telling you what I have observed over time. Uh, but the real purpose of this video is to compare airlines, see which one's doing better, and of course to put in my own personal obsession with bashing them.